Hey guys, uh, I got a new video for you today. Uh, this is going to be a quick review uh, slash opinion video on uh, some of uh, some of my newer knives that I've been EDCing lately. Um, I've been carrying them for um, about a week and a half, and uh, you know, just using them for different tasks and things like that, cutting up some cardboard, opening letters, just your everyday um, your everyday tasks that a regular person would need. Um, uh, so some of these knives for um, and uh, these are uh, first uh, right off the bat I can tell you these are great EDC knives um, some of them have a little bit different purpose than others but um, all in all they're, they're pretty good as far as everyday carry uh, the first one is going to be this um, uh, Kershaw OD2 um, that I received from uh, Gwyn 1975 one of my subscribers here on YouTube uh, thanks again for that uh, this is a great great little knife um, just a uh, you know something that could definitely fit you know into a pocket at the bottom of a pocket or you know clipped onto your pocket as a backup knife or anything like that um, it's got the um, this little latch right here which um, which you use to open up the knife pops right open uh, the blade is um, you guys can see right there uh, 8 CR 13 MOV uh, and it's a Lee Williams design um, one thing that I really like about this knife is um, once you um, use that flipper to go ahead and open it the flipper actually disappears right into the handle and I mean it, it definitely you know gives you a, a real sleek sleek um, feel to the actual handle the um, as you can see I could fit three fingers very comfortably on the handle there's a little bit of jimping right here on the uh, on the lock bar um, and I mean it's it's one of those knives that's real easy to open with one hand and close with one hand as well um, it weighs next to nothing 1.4 ounces and you know once it's open it gives you great you know penetration power because it's so sleek it comes to a, to a really wicked point um, see if you guys can see it right there and you know if uh, to open up a package or something you know you get that point in there and the blade just slides right through it um, the, the one thing that it is missing that I wish it had was a lanyard hole um, I could definitely see where you could have uh, maybe moved the clip down just a tad and added a lanyard hole there uh, the clip is reversible from left to right carry but only tip up so um, I prefer tip up, so that's that's good. But you know, if you don't like that, then just you know, make sure you uh, you keep note of that. It also has the uh, the screw right there, so you can um, tighten or loosen the blade. Um, the one thing that I do have to say um, that I would probably hit on uh, would be a hit on this knife is the uh, the flipper is a little bit hicky sometimes. You kind of have to grab it right at the right angle in order for it to open but for the most part once you get used to it uh, it opens up real easy real nice um, and it's real easy to use so that's that one uh, next knife is going to be the um, Spyderco Tasman uh, salt with the H1 steel um, right off the bat this is a, a wicked looking knife um, you know it's got that hawk bill um, blade the H1, which uh, which is uh, you know, they won't rust, salt resistant. Those yellow handles, and the one thing that I that I didn't know from just looking at this knife um, is the weight. It's only two ounces, you know, um, you know, on and and this is a pretty, pretty. I wouldn't say a large blade, but for for a small EDC, is uh, it's a little bit on the on the bigger side, and for it to only weigh two ounces, that was just uh, that was just crazy for me. But it's great with this black pocket clip. You know, I, I think it's a cool contrast with the with the handle. Uh, the yellow is real easy to find if you were to drop it at night. The spider hole is is it makes it really really comfortable to open. Um, it's got some. Let me see if you guys can see this. It's got some jimping right here, which definitely. Sorry about that. Definitely help helps out when you're uh, when you're gripping this. And um, for my hands, I can I can comfortably get four fingers around there but it does have the the hole so if you wanted to add a lanyard um, you know maybe something uh, red or orange to kind of go with the with the high visibility theme of it you could definitely do so very easily um, razor razor sharp out the box I mean I've been using this to you know to, to cut up open boxes and things like that and it, it works great but um, it could definitely serve a role as a you know maybe a backup self-defense knife if if uh, if you know how to use it, you know this would definitely come in handy. So so great great knife there. 
Um, and then the third knife is um, I did a, a review on, or a video on this. It's the uh, this is the the Boker Escape knife. Um, it's, it's a it's a fixed blade uh, with this uh, fixed blade knife and this uh, this leather sheath. Um, I did go ahead and add a little piece of paracord back here just to give me a little bit more of something to grip on onto the knife itself. Um, the blade was definitely very, very dull. Um, I went ahead and touched it up a little bit. It's not razor sharp, but uh, you know it's it's sharp enough. Um, I really, really like the ergonomics of this of this particular knife. I mean, it's it's you know it's got a two inch blade, and um, it's about four four and a quarter, a little bit four, a little bit about four and a half um, length the whole knife, and then just the uh, these uh, micarta handles also uh, gives it a good good feel. Um, the sheath, the sheath is nice. I mean, it's it's very, very um, well made, well constructed. Um, the one hit that I did give it in the original video, and you know, putting the paracord on there definitely helped. Was I wish the knife would actually sit a little bit higher, so I can actually use the hole to retract it out of the sheath, um, so I can get a you know just a, a good grip on it from the get go. But you know, that's just um, you know something that you have to sacrifice so that the knife would fit fully in the sheath. Um, I, I would have wished that it was it would have come maybe with a Kydex sheath, um, but you know, I guess this this works good for it. Now, another reason why I would have wished a Kydex sheath, um, not just because uh, you know obviously after wear you know the leather, you know it kind of starts stretching and things like that, but um, I did notice that if you didn't sit it in there correctly, and you know kind of left it loose like that there might be a chance that the knife would fall out. So for retention purposes, I don't think this leather sheath was the best choice. Um, for looks, obviously it looks real nice with the micarta and the leather and stuff like that, but for, you know, just, just for practicality, a Kydex sheath would have probably made a, made a better choice. Um, I, I, the, reason, the way I was EDCing this is I was carrying this on my weak side. Um, uh, where I would normally carry the uh, K bar TDI to use as a backup. So let's say my uh, my primary hand, which I am right-handed, um, is occupied, maybe grabbing my gun so somebody doesn't grab it or it's hurt. You know, I I can always reach down, you know, grab my pinky on the paracord, pull it out, and use this to uh, you know maybe get somebody off of me or uh, to defend myself. So that was the main main use of this particular knife. Um, I did use it to cut up, so, you know, open some envelopes and things like that, just to kind of like. Um, test out the cutting, um, you know, the cutting angles and how I would use it to cut something if I definitely had to. But uh, this one was more reserved as a, uh, a, a backup, uh, last ditch knife, you would say. So um, it, in that role, served a great purpose. Um, since um, the reason that I, that I decided to use it that way is because of the way that the clip is positioned. Um, if I would have used this on my strong side, I would have clipped, you know, to my belt. Or you know, in between my pants and my and my belt, and it would have you know, it would have ridden like this, and I kind of didn't like the way that that you know, I didn't feel comfortable. I I was almost worried that it would fall out. So what I did is I put it on the left side, and then the clip faced out, the belt through here, and then the sheath was in between my belt and my pants. So it actually felt a little bit more comfortable. Just had this paracord kind of riding to the side like that, and then just you know, I can grow in there, pull it out, and just stick my you know finger in there and you know ready to go uh, this is the uh, 420 stainless steel um, blade it's got the jimping up here but uh, honestly that's uh, it's not even you know, might as well not have it there it doesn't even do anything so um, guys let me know if you have any questions about these uh, these three particular knives like I said um, uh, I didn't spend as much time as normally I would, but I kind of wanted to get this review out there. So in case anybody's um, interested, you know, to go ahead and pick these up, you know, if you like what I said. So let me know if you have any other questions. Again, the Kershaw OD2, the uh, Spyderco Tasman Salt, and the Boker Escape Knife. All right, guys. Thanks.